common feature found on modern vehicles is the Service Reminder Interval, or SRI. How this information is displayed can vary. A small wrench might be displayed, or a Service Now type message could be shown. After the required services have been performed, VCDS can be used to quickly reset the SRI. The SRI function is part of the instrument cluster. There are two different types of instrument clusters, UDS and non-UDS. The overall procedure to reset the SRI is the same, but there are some slight differences you need to be aware of. First we will show the reset procedure on a non-UDS instrument cluster. With the ignition turned on, from the first screen of VCDS, click on the SRI reset button. VCDS will go into the instrument cluster and gather data. Once VCDS has the information, it will display the results. From the drop-down menu at the top, you will need to select what operation is to be performed. Service reset in this example, since that is the only option. But other instrument clusters may have several options to pick from. It is up to the end user to select the correct operation for the vehicle they are working with. With the correct operation selected, click on the Perform SRI button at the bottom of the VCDS window. Now VCDS will go back to the instrument cluster and make changes based on what operation was selected. Once completed, a message confirming the operation was successful will pop up. Click on OK, then Done Go Back. You can now cycle the ignition and verify the SRI warning is off. For UDS instrument clusters, as before with the ignition turned on, click on the SRI reset button. VCDS will go into the instrument cluster and gather data. Once VCDS has the information, it will display the results. There are two variations to look for here. If there are no values for the fixed channels, then from the drop-down menu at the top, you will need to select ESI slash oil. If there is stored data for the fixed channels, then from the drop-down menu at the top, you will need to select Fix and ESI. With the correct operation selected, click on the Perform SRI button at the bottom of the VCDS window. Now VCDS will go back into the instrument cluster and make changes based on what operation was selected. Once completed, a message confirming the operation was successful will pop up. Click on OK, then Done Go Back. You can now cycle the ignition and verify the SRI warning is off. If you need additional assistance on this or other topics related to VCDS, we have free support on a web form for our registered customers. From the first screen of VCDS, click on the About button and you will find a link to the forums.